Oh hi guys and welcome to the live video today. Today we are being joined by Natasha and we are going to be discussing this week's weight loss. So we'll just wait for Natasha to get here. Hopefully she will be coming on to this live video very soon. Why she's doing that, look at the size of my strawberries. <laughs> so these are my huge strawberries from Sainsbury's, uh, which I got today. And I'm just settling down for Love Island tonight with giant strawberries and popcorn. That's my uh, lovely Sunday night treat. And then when Natasha gets here, as always, I've got my sparkling water. When Natasha gets here, we will be discussing the weight loss on the end of week number two. Uh, let me just get Natasha on here. Uh, let's have a look. Right, inviting Miss Natasha add. <laughs> I just feel so comfortable. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Good. I was just showing them all my Giant strawberries. Oh my nice. Look at those bad boys. <laughs> How are you doing? Great, thanks. How's week two been? Look, I'm in my uh, business outfit still <laughs> going to my conference today. I don't look like I've been pulled through a hedge backwards for once. <laughs> <laughs> so how's week two been? So it's been good. It's, I've been getting the same energy rushes as last week, which is great. And I'm really starting to feel and look slimmer as well, which is fantastic. I thought that. Well, I've watched your lives, obviously, throughout the week. And I thought, it's your face. Really lost it, haven't you? It's yeah. amazing. Absolutely. So what have you lost so far in the two weeks? So I've lost another pound this week. So in total, 10 pounds. Well, that's huge, isn't it? So I'm really, really happy with that. And what what have you found? Have you found anything challenging or not? Um, week number two, because I've been doing all the recipes, it's actually been easier this week than last week. Because last week I had quite a vanilla week, quite a plain week. Um, you know, yeah. and I was doing the shakes and smoothies. Whereas this week, because I've been having the recipes, like once I made that cottage pie, I had it twice because it was just so great. And again, nice, if you think about what's in it, it's just the meat, the vegetables and the sweet potato. So you yeah. could have it three or four times a week if you really like it, like I did. <laughs> or, or just every day. With yeah, just every day. Loving life. I, do you know, I think so, a lot of people, I think if you if you can plan and prepare and have you know, some great recipes, whether it be shake recipes, meal recipes, and you can get into the flow of what to do. And I Somebody was trying to call me. Natasha has now disappeared. Let's get Natasha back. Let's get Natasha back. Add her in. Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> I, well, have, I didn't know when you dropped off to sleep or... or, <laughs> or <laughs> <laughs> been working too hard. I've, do you, can you notice that I'm using the stick? Oh, yeah, great. Jane bought me a selfie stick. It's a gift. I'm so happy. Look, <laughs> um, yeah. What were we saying? Oh, yeah. So I was saying about the like having that plan and that structure. Is how how much do you feel that helps you? Oh yeah, absolutely. It was because I, I knew that I was making the recipes. I had to go. Actually, I went shopping every day last week. 
And that was really great because I was picking up everything fresh and I really knew what I was eating and I had it there ready to go. Um, so I think I was much more prepared on week number two than week one. And what, how about, do you feel accountable as well, like to keep going because you're doing your lives and you're sort of working alongside me and other people. Do you, do you feel that makes a difference? Yes. And also because I'm doing the lives, um, I've obviously got all my <laughs> class members watching, which I yeah. see every day. So it's great to, oh, yeah. I, went into, I went into David Lloyd last week and the, one of my ladies came up to me with these bars and said, look, I found these dairy free and gluten free. I bought them for you. You oh, know, so just the little gestures like that are really good and are really keeping me motivated. Oh, that's really good. I've lost, um, what did I lose? Two pounds. Well, I weighed on Friday because I was obviously not, I haven't been here this weekend. Um, and I'd lost two pounds. So for me, I've lost, what's that? Four and a half pounds. So that's really good, considering I've been yeah. doing it for such a long time um, and it's still coming off. <laughs> it's not, not one of these things where you do the 30 days and you finish and then, you know, the weight goes back on. You know, I've been consistently losing now since the beginning of March. So um, and lost 24 pounds I've lost now. So very excited to lose another four. And I went to a work um, conference today and obviously there's people there that haven't seen me for a long time because where I work in Arbonne, you don't get to see everybody, you know, that often. Um, and I think people that see me all the time, you perhaps don't notice it so much. And I had so many people going, oh my God, you look amazing. Like you've lost loads of weight. You're doing so well. I was like, oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm working really hard. But it's great, isn't it? I think it's great to get that, um, you know, that, that sort of recognition because it, it sometimes isn't easy, is it? To just keep going and losing the weight. I think maybe the good thing about today, didn't they have a special lunch as well? Was it gluten-free and dairy-free? Oh, yeah, we always, Arbonne are just literally on it. You had, there's a whole vegan table. <laughs> so Stuart particularly chooses where we go because the quality of the lunch. So there was loads of stuff. I could, there was chicken skewers, um, like vegetable skewers. Uh, what else did I have? Yeah, so again, like being prepared and because Stuart knows that a lot of people that, you know, do the business that I do are super healthy, um, having food there that you can eat. Like, you know, Jen, if you go like to a party or something and all it is is like sandwiches and I don't think, do they do volivons anymore? Yeah, <laughs> they still volivons. do that. Volivons, like quiche, like you know, party food or buffet food generally, if you're being healthy, is really, really challenging. But, um, you know, yeah, really lucky because I didn't have to go without anything. I've even had my nails done that. <laughs> I can't wear the camera. I'm so rubbish at things like this. Here we go, look nice nails. Um, yeah, so, you know, absolutely fine. I had my porridge in the morning, um, scooted off, um, took a protein bar with me because um, I know lunch is normally about one, so I knew I'd get hungry. Um, oh, they had um, like jacket potato skins, they're gonna make you hungry, um, and wedges. So there were things, you know, because you can have potato. Um, yeah, so yeah, absolutely brilliant. And then I've cut, driven all the way home and had, what should I have? I had an omelette, nice and easy. Did they have any giant strawberries? Oh, look at that. No. <laughs> you can fit it all in. So, Tem, so you've lost 10 pounds. I've lost 24 pounds. So, what, um, anything for you this week? Do you think, are you sort of really rigidly sticking to it? Are you drinking your water? Yes, I am drinking the water. I find it really easy when I'm exercising um in the week to drink a lot of water and when i get home i just get my bottle out the fridge two liters and my wine glass and get going i think that's the <laughs> easiest way to do it and just have it there next to you you know the worst thing is if you have to keep going up and down so just get that two liter bottle wherever you go keep it with you all day i think that's the secret so 14 days in what is your biggest change you feel in such a short space of time um just the energy levels 
There's this move in Aqua where I go kick, kick, double kick and jump. And normally I just do one of those and then I just do it with my hands. But this week, the end of this week, I've just been doing the whole chorus. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> and the ladies are saying to me, how come you're flying this week? <laughs> and it's the food. I think a lot of just... people, you're gone. I think it's that stone that's gone and the extra energy wow, from yeah. the food. Wow. It's this fuel, fueling the body. Yeah, it is fueling. I think, um, I, can't, well, I can't remember what I was going to say. What was I going to say? I can't remember what I was going to say. So for you, it, obviously losing 10 pounds is loads, isn't it? You know, that is, in a in women's sense, a clothes size. Can you believe? Yeah. So that is, 10 pounds is a clothes size. And if you, you should post, I've got, have you got a picture of 10 pounds of fat? Uh, I haven't, but I'm sure you have, haven't you? I've got a picture of what five pounds of fat looks like with someone holding it. So if we double <laughs> that up, you it is astounding what you've lost, like astounding in such a short space of time. And if your, you know, energy levels are through the roof um, and you're losing weight, I think, you know, the health... Ben oh, that's what I was going to say. It's come back to me. I've got baby brain. I haven't even got a baby. Um, is people don't realise the effect food has. I think, you know, 80% of people's health goal comes from what you eat. And I think people have no idea the effect that food has on the way you feel, your mood, your sleep, your energy, everything. Um, and I, I think that's why I'm so passionate about helping people change, you know, what they eat and the way they feel about food and the way they feel about themselves. Because... Because I, it really does. I know it sounds cliche, but it, I believe you can change your life in thirty days following this plan. Do you agree? Halfway through. Jane Absolutely. Francis? Yes, I agree. <laughs> oh, so so what's what's next for the next two weeks? What exciting things are you, you going to find it really easy to stick to? Do you think? So I'm doing something interesting this week. I'm going to stay for a few days with one of my friends who's got two kids because she's seen the recipes that I'm making and she would really like to introduce it to the kids. So in my video this week, I'm going to have two kids with me who are going to be trialling the food. And my challenge this week, I've got to make family-friendly food. So it is going to be a challenge and I'm going to have live test, taste testers there testing my cooking. And I've heard on the grapevine you might be starting some come dine with me events. Is this true? Yes, and some of my uh, slimmers may be coming round next week as well to the house on Friday night to try. Oh my life! That's so exciting. <laughs> you have so much fun though, right? I think I I just believe. You know, if there's anybody, you know, out there listening to us or watching our journeys, I, I just truly believe if you're in a community of like minded people that, that are trying to achieve the same things as you, like it makes all the difference to you achieving your goals. Um, you know, I think for me, a long time, you know, I've, I'm, you know, a strong, independent woman. And I just, you know, for a long time, try to do lots of things on my own. And now, you know, I'm doing all of my training down at um, Fit Body uh, Bournemouth, which is, you know, 10 minutes down the road. And I think having that accountability with the exercise has been absolutely paramount to the success of my weight loss. And also working with other people on this plan, you know, um, even from when I was doing it in March, I've always been working with other people that are also doing the plan. And I, and I just think you feel like you're part of something. Do you, you agree? I think doing things on your own is, is, is really, you know, I'm strong and dedicated, but doing things on your own is not the same, is it? Absolutely. I'm in a support group as well, which I'm finding it really nice because every day people are posting, you know, how they're feeling, asking questions about it. And as you said, you just get that feeling that you're not doing it alone. Yeah, and but a lot being with other people that want that want their lives to be better. I just I spent the day today, you know, in a room full of like three hundred people that all are looking to reach their potential with their health and and their life. And I and I think, you know, being surrounded by people that inspire you um, is truly wonderful. You know, a lot of people maybe have challenges at home and people that don't support them with their 
with their diet and sat there eating sort of large pizzas and getting takeaways and like we can a hundred percent support you on your journey to to sort of reach your potential with your health with your weight you know with your life and, I, and i'm so excited about spreading the love bug around the world um yeah just super excited so any more questions for jody if you have any questions for me jody you must have one or two um no <laughs> Well, realistically, I think my weight loss, I want to lose another four pounds to get to one stone. That's what yeah. I'd like to do. Yeah, I think you I think you might, because I think when everyone has a massive, you know, when I first did it, I think the first week I lost like five pounds. And I think that is very normal to have a more dramatic weight loss week one, right? I think everybody will do that at some level. And then you'll plateau out. But I think what you'll find is week three, you're going to have another, I think you'll lose four or five pounds. Okay. Yeah. I think you will. I, I think with the, um, how are you, how many shakes are you having? Let's go through a normal day for you before we finish. Just wrap it up so we can help like help other people with what you're doing and if I can help you with what you're doing. So what does the day look like for you on the plan? Go. So I'm just I'm trying not to have more than two scoops of protein powder a day. Whether that be uh one shake a day or like I had one uh scoop in the pancakes, one scoop in the mug muffin. So I'm just making sure that I'm not going over that um because it's got the calories in there. And also I, I see the shake or the muffin as the treat of the day. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to make sure I'm not overdoing that because you always have strawberries or some fruit with it, which again is going to take your blood yeah. sugar up. I think it also, with the, with the protein, see, I, because I do a lot of um, like resistance work. Like cause when I train, I'm doing like body weight and like throwing a kettlebell around my head. It's rather heavy. Um, you know, I need that protein. I think with you as well, I know you don't do a lot of like resistance. Yours is more aerobic, isn't it? But but getting yeah. that protein in, I think is important. But, you, but you're right, not to have too many, because there are some good things in that. <laughs> in those recipes, you're like, this is amazing. I can have brownies, I can have cake, I can have protein balls. But all of those things, like things like the protein balls, or what was it you made with the nut butter in, the mug cake? Yeah, where everything's got the yeah. nut butter in. Yeah, well, see, see that, obviously, your healthy fats are so important. Like, don't be afraid of fat. Like, we encourage healthy fats and your, but it, but it's looking at, if you look at that, um, we've got an amazing document called What's on Your Plate. I'm, I'm, we're going to do, we're definitely going to do a What's on Your Plate live um, and maybe show people. But um, I think that is... Um, you know, that actually breaks down like the amount of protein, the amount of like when you're having the carb, the simple carbohydrates. If you go back to your that what's on your plate sheet and stick to that, you're I'm not saying that you're not doing amazing because you truly are. But if you stick to that what's on your plate for week three, I think you're fine because it says, doesn't it? You can have six ounces of protein. Um, you can have like a fistful of vegetables. Like if you're having the healthy fat, it's one healthy fat a day. So if you're cooking with like your table, I never have a tablespoon of coconut oil, even though it says it's more like a teaspoon for me. If you're having that teaspoon or tablespoon of coconut oil, that then you're not having the nut butter and you know anything else as well. So it's just just making sure that the like proportions of your proteins, carbs, and fats are right. Um, but we seriously can help you all and we have a lot of fun as well. We've got so much exciting news to share. I'm not going to share it yet, but over the over the coming weeks, we've got lots of news to share with you. So so if any of you feel inspired to come join us on our hashtag weight loss journey or catch the health bug, um, we have got, um, you know, amazing things going on between now and the end of the month. So please drop us a message or post below and we will help you become the best version of yourself oh very exciting <laughs> anything from you jody to close right that's it over and out i'm going back to my strawberries and love island oh i'm loving that enjoy love island jody and well done thank you you're doing amazing i'll speak soon
Bye. Bye.